Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with Hollow Point Firearms and today I'm going to bring you another video on the Winchester 1906 series. Um, today what we're going to be doing is kind of going over just some uh, some little tricks and techniques on, on minor stuff. All right, Now, um, a lot of the stuff that we do on each gun is going to be the same. So, just for the sake of wasting time and you guys watching the same videos over and over, I'm not, I didn't do a video on how to polish the barrel because if you want to learn how to polish a barrel and prep it for bluing, then you can watch the, the, um, the prep video on the H&R project. It's all the same thing. Um, it all turns out, you know, it all comes out the same. Uh, I've already got this one polished up. Alright, so it's ready to go. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll get started bluing that here in the next video or so. Um, but today what we're going to be going over is just some uh, little little minute stuff that you know you need to do to make a, a gunsmithing project or a, re a redo job look really good. All right, and we're, what we're going to be covering is like uh, uh, repairing screws and prepping them for bluing and, uh, and and things like that. So we'll get started on that, and uh, we're also going to be polishing down the uh, the uh, the bolt carrier and the firing pin and all that good stuff or the firing pin carrier whatever you want to call it um, if you want to take a closer look at this just to see the finished product on it um, you'll notice some stuff on it like for instance these little nicks right here in the barrel All right, those are smooth but they are nicks I'm not going to try to file those out of there just because this gun is so old it is a family heirloom and little things like that is what makes it look old. If I was to sand that down and file that off, then it's going to look like a brand new barrel, and that's not what I want. Uh, the same with the uh, the frame here. Um, it's got the little ping marks in it. All right. And back in the day uh, when this gun was made, they didn't have the technology that we have now to make everything perfect. So what they would do is they would build the gun and put the, the frame or the, uh, the firing pin carrier in there and if it didn't fit perfectly they would take a punch and they would ping it and that expands the metal around that opening and makes it fit tighter so like I'm not going to fill those and file those out just because I want that character to remain in this firearm when I'm finished with it there are some little things that I've had to have done to the, the, the rifle that I couldn't do uh, I made mention in the H&R project if I ran into anything that was uh, severe that was too advanced for me at this point um, I have a gunsmith in Reedsburg that takes care of that for me it's lock stock and barrel and what I did was I took him this barrel this this gun and I, this is why I do it and this is why I love it so much uh, when I got this gun and you can see it on the it's a clip of it on the intro video it was in such rough shape it was just horrible and it had been setting for years and um, you know it's funny because if it would have set uh, you know probably five or ten more years it would have been no good I mean it would have just been completely rusted away rotted away it was horrible um, and with that the barrel was so pitted and rusted out the liner in the barrel um, that a 22 bullet 22 long rifle or 22 short 22 caliber bullet could have tumbled down the barrel that's how wallowed out and and rusted and pitted out the barrel was so what I did was I took to the uh, the gunsmith I had him drill it and put me a new barrel liner in it and he recrowned the barrel for me so that looks amazing awesome um, and I also went ahead and uh, had him make me some new hangers he has a mill so he milled me some new mag tube hangers um, so we're going to get those polished and blued up um, so that's done and uh, also I had to order a new uh, magazine tube and follower the uh, the tube came pre blued it was already blued but since we are uh, rust bluing this uh, slow bluing with that brown the uh, Arts Belgian blue I polished it down and it's ready to go now and we're gonna blue it with the the uh, Arts Belgian blue and give it that brown look alright so um, at this point we still have to polish the uh, bolt here, the firing pin carrier. Uh, I've got to get that polished up so we can get that blue. And we need to do some maintenance on some screws. Alright, so that's what we're about to get into right now.
All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and do a little bit of screw maintenance. And uh, you can see this screw here. I don't know how good it's going to focus, but it's all boogered up. All right. It's got sharp edges on it. If I was to run a cloth over that right now, it would uh, catch and pull little lint off of it, pull lint strings off of it. So what I'm going to do to go ahead and uh, fix this up a little bit is I'm just going to ping the top of these screws, and i got to try to use something to hold it. Um, I'm going to try to use these little pliers. Hopefully it doesn't pop out of there and I don't lose it. Anyway, I'm just going to take a... a uh, little uh, hammer. Let me adjust this camera so you can see better what I'm doing. I'm going to take this, uh, take this little screw and, and try to hold it in these pliers. I'm going to take this hammer right here and just ping the top of it. And all I'm doing is just pinging down those burrs. Once I get them pinged, I'm going to take my file and just file across it. I don't want to file it much because this screw has to set flush in the top. It's just pretty much a uh, hole filler is all this screw is. It's an access to uh, one of the trigger springs. So I just want to file it off just enough to get those burrs off of it. Alright, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's the finished product. So, you can see screw maintenance is really, really easy. Alright, you just have to be really delicate with it, really gentle with it, and make sure that you don't overdo it. All right, but now that's nice and smooth. I can touch that with some uh, heat on a torch, put a little bit of Arts Belgian Blue on it, and that'll be good to go. All right, All right I got a few more screws here that I want to touch up. These are the the screws that go on the butt stop or the butt plate. All right, they're just wood screws, and uh, you know I could go buy some new screws. I really could. No big deal. But uh, if these are in good shape, they're not, and I don't even need to really do a lot of work to these. So, probably just take me a couple of seconds here to get these ready to go. Just want to knock it with a file just to make sure there's no burrs on it. Alright, so this is the rear trigger frame assembly. And I kind of got ahead of myself on it. And it's already blued, I already blued it. Um, but what I need to do is I ordered some new screws. Um, a few of the screws are replacement screws. And I ordered them so that I could replace some that were in really bad shape. Some of them were going to fix up and uh, refinish. But these, I had to get new ones. They were in just such bad shape. They were all rusted out. So what I did was I got it blued and I put it back together. And when I put it back together... I noticed that the screws, those factory screws, one, they're black, and two, they protrude out because they're just a, a standard fit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I've got my uh, Nicholson uh, flat mill. Uh, this is a bastard, uh, mill bastard file, all right? It's just a, a standard mill file. I'm going to go ahead and file this screw head off, all right? Now, what that's going to do is it's going to, you know, take the bluing off of what I've already done here. But what I'll do is go ahead and polish this back up and just re-blue it. It doesn't take that long. i got to heat everything up for the barrel and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out, and then we'll do some more maintenance on some screws. So what's important when you're filing is you want to stay even, all right? And you don't want to take off. you got to watch what you're doing because you don't want to cut into the actual frame itself. 
So what I'm going to do is file the head down until it's even with the top arch of the frame. Or the trigger frame here, the trigger assembly. And it's pretty much just as easy as that. You can see that it's leveled it off now. Let me zoom in here for you so you can see. Nice and level now. I don't know what my camera's doing. It's like auto, auto zooming in there. Nice and flat, even with the surface. And what I'll do now, since I've already got it in, the, uh, in our makeshift vise there, I'll go ahead and polish that, that whole uh, surface right here up with our sandpaper. Alright guys, so what we're doing now is my parts are pretty much dried off. So I uh, got my rubbing alcohol here. I'm going to go ahead and degrease all my parts with my rubbing alcohol. Alright guys, so here's how we're going to blue our uh, our small parts. I've got my uh, my little Coleman stove there. I'm gonna try to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm gonna be doing up close. Got my little Coleman stove there. That's gonna be our heat source to heat our products up. I've got my Arts Belgian Blue right here. A little container of that. My little cotton swabs. And uh, what I'm gonna do is take my my needle nose pliers, and I'm just gonna take one of my parts. I'm going to set it right in the heat here and let it heat up. Give me some uh, bells and blue in, on my cotton ball here. And what you want it to do is you want it to sizzle a little bit, just like that. So I'm just going to wrap it right in there. Put it right back on the heat. Heat it back up and let it carve. Alright, and do it again. Put it back on the heat and let it carve. I'm going to take a little bit of damp steel wool and try to carve my screws off the best I can. Heat it back up enough to dry it off. Looks like I need to hit it one more time. Got my little container here. And some wind seal. deactivate the rusting process. Now, move on and do the rest of them. Alright guys, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little video on, uh, you know, just finishing up the little stuff, getting it ready to be blued. You can see there we've got our uh, our uh, carrier that uh, 
we were working on. Got that all polished up and ready to be blued now. Got our frame repolished up there, our tang. Uh, the barrel and the magazine tube, those are both ready to go as well. And then over here we've got the rest of our little stuff that we've got all blued up now and it's ready to go. Got our screws, our hangers. Um, all of our little small pieces are all blued up and, and ready to go back on the gun now. So uh, it's pretty much ready to go. The only thing now is just to blue it. So uh, tune back in for the uh, bluing session. I'm sure it's going to be a pretty long video, but it's going to be a good video. I can't wait to get some color on all this stuff. So uh, until next time, guys, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See ya.